Hello fellow ocean explorers, today we're about to embark on an incredible journey back in time, to an era when the oceans were ruled by one of the most awe-inspiring predators to ever exist. Get ready to dive deep into the story of a true giant, the Megalodon. Today, we're diving deep into the past to uncover the mystery of the Megalodon, the biggest shark to ever rule the waves. This colossal creature dominated the seas during the Cenozoic era, roughly 23 to 3.6 million years ago. Imagine the world back then, vast wild oceans teeming with ancient life, and at the very top of the food chain, the Megalodon. Imagine a shark so large it could swallow a school bus in one gulp. That's how massive the Megalodon was. Scientists estimate it could grow up to 60 feet long, almost three times the length of a great white shark. Its jaws were lined with hundreds of razor-sharp teeth, each one as big as your hand, designed for crushing bone and tearing through flesh. This prehistoric predator lived millions of years ago, long before humans walked the earth. The oceans were a very different place, filled with enormous whales, giant sea turtles, and other incredible marine creatures. The Megalodon was the undisputed ruler of this underwater world, striking fear into anything that crossed its path. With teeth the size of your hand and a powerful bite stronger than any animal alive today, the Megalodon was at the top of the food chain. Its bite force is estimated to be over 40,000 pounds per square inch, enough to crush the skull of a whale with ease. These massive teeth are some of the only remains we have as the rest of its skeleton was made of cartilage and rarely fossilized. For millions of years, it reigned supreme, feasting on whales and other large marine animals. The Megalodon's hunting strategy was brutal and effective, it would ambush its prey from below, using its immense power and speed to deliver a devastating bite. Nothing in the ancient seas was safe from this apex predator. But then, something mysterious happened, the Megalodon vanished, leaving behind only giant teeth as clues to its existence. These fossils have been found all over the world, from the coasts of North America to the shores of Europe, and even in parts of Asia and Australia, sparking curiosity and debate among scientists and enthusiasts alike. What could have possibly toppled this king of the ocean? Was it a change in climate, a shift in ocean currents, or the disappearance of its favorite prey? The mystery of the Megalodon's extinction continues to fascinate us to this day. Join us as we investigate the clues left behind by this legendary predator and try to unravel the secrets of its reign and its sudden disappearance. As we journey back to the time of the Megalodon, we need to remember that Earth was a different place then. The planet was going through a period called the Pliocene Epoch, which lasted from about 5.3 to 2.6 million years ago. During this time, the Earth's climate underwent significant changes. Imagine a world where the oceans were warmer, and sea levels were higher than they are today. This was the environment where Megalodon thrived. However, as the Earth began to cool, the oceans changed too. These changes had a ripple effect on the entire marine ecosystem, impacting the food chain from the bottom to the very top, where Megalodon sat. As the Earth's climate shifted, a new player emerged on the scene, the ancestor of the modern-day Great White Shark. Though smaller than the mighty Megalodon, these sharks were incredibly adaptable. They were sleek, fast swimmers with a diverse palate, meaning they weren't picky eaters. While Megalodon preferred warm, tropical waters, great white ancestors could tolerate colder temperatures. This allowed them to hunt in new areas and take advantage of different prey. They were like the nimble athletes of the ocean, ready to compete. The arrival of the great white's ancestors marked a turning point in the ocean's power dynamic. The stage was set for a clash of titans. Now how do we know all this? Well, scientists are like ocean detectives piecing together clues from the past. They study fossils which are preserved remains of ancient life like bones and teeth. Fossils tell us amazing stories about creatures that lived millions of years ago. We've found megalodon teeth all over the world, even in places that are now dry land. This tells us they were a truly global species. We've also discovered great white shark fossils from the same time period, indicating that these two apex predators shared the same hunting grounds. By examining these fossils, scientists can learn about the size, diet, and distribution of these ancient sharks. It's like putting together a giant puzzle, with each fossil providing another piece of the story. As the Earth continued to cool and ocean currents shifted, the oceans became a place of constant change and challenge. Temperatures dropped, 
and the once stable environments that many marine creatures relied on began to transform. The mixing of cold and warm waters created new habitats but also forced animals to adapt or face extinction. In this ever-changing seascape, only the most adaptable species could hope to survive. For the great white shark, this adaptability became a huge advantage. Unlike many of its contemporaries, the great white was not bound to a single type of environment or prey. It could move between different ocean regions, adjusting its behavior and hunting strategies as needed. This flexibility gave it a significant edge over less adaptable predators. Great whites could follow their prey into colder waters, venturing into new territories that other sharks and marine predators found inhospitable. Their bodies were built to handle a range of temperatures, allowing them to hunt in both warm shallows and chilly depths. This meant that as prey migrated or disappeared from one area, the great white could simply move on to the next. In stark contrast, Megalodon was restricted to shrinking warm water habitats. As the planet cooled, these warm regions became smaller and more isolated, cutting off Megalodon from much of its former hunting grounds. The once mighty predator found itself boxed in by the changing climate, unable to adapt quickly enough to survive. Think of it this way, imagine you only like to eat one type of food, and suddenly that food becomes harder and harder to find. No matter how skilled you are, if you can't adapt your diet, you're in trouble. This is exactly what happened to Megalodon. As the oceans changed, the specific prey Megalodon relied on became increasingly scarce. The vast, teeming seas it once dominated grew emptier, and the abundance of large marine mammals it depended on began to dwindle. Imagine searching for your favorite meal, only to find empty shelves everywhere you look. You'd have a tough time surviving, right? That's the challenge Megalodon faced as its food sources vanished. Fossil evidence shows that Megalodon primarily hunted large whales and other massive marine mammals, but as these animals became less common, Megalodon struggled to find enough food to sustain its enormous size. The decline in whale populations was a critical blow. With fewer whales in the ocean, Megalodon's main food source was disappearing, leaving the giant shark with little to eat. As a result, Megalodon was forced to search farther and wider for prey, often coming up empty. The lack of food made it harder for them to survive, reproduce, and maintain their population. The Great White, on the other hand, was not limited by such strict dietary preferences. Its adaptability allowed it to hunt a wide variety of prey, from fish and seals to smaller whales and even scavenging when necessary. You could say the Great White was like a master chef in the kitchen able to whip up a meal from whatever ingredients were available. This versatility made all the difference. Whether it was hunting in shallow reefs, open ocean or colder waters, the Great White could adapt its menu and hunting techniques to suit the environment. This ability to change with the times was key to its survival. In a world where change was the only constant, the Great White's flexibility allowed it not just to survive but to thrive, outlasting giants like Megalodon and becoming one of the ocean's most successful predators. Being a giant had its perks for the Megalodon, but it also came with a major drawback, a giant appetite. These massive sharks needed to eat enormous amounts of food to fuel their huge bodies. As the oceans changed and their preferred prey became scarce, finding enough food became a monumental challenge. Imagine you're a kid who loves to eat and you need a whole fridge full of food every day. Now imagine your parents tell you there's only a sandwich and an apple left for the week. That's a simplified way to think about the predicament Megalodon faced. The Great White, with its smaller size and more diverse diet, could survive on less food. This meant they were less vulnerable to fluctuations in prey availability. So, what ultimately led to the downfall of the mighty Megalodon? For millions of years, this colossal predator ruled the ancient seas, striking fear into the hearts of marine creatures and dominating the food chain. But even the most powerful giants can be brought down by forces beyond their control. The story of Megalodon's extinction is not one of a single catastrophic event, but rather a complex web of challenges that slowly eroded its dominance. It wasn't just one thing, but a combination of factors, like a perfect storm of challenges. Imagine a world where the environment is constantly shifting, where new threats emerge, and where survival becomes a daily struggle. For Megalodon, these challenges came from every direction. Environmental changes, competition, and dwindling resources all played a part in its decline. Climate change played a big role. The cooling oceans and shifting currents impacted Megalodon's preferred habitat and prey availability. As the planet entered a period of global cooling, 
ocean temperatures dropped, and the warm shallow waters Megalodon favored began to disappear. These changes didn't just make the environment less comfortable, they also disrupted the migration patterns of the large marine mammals Megalodon hunted, making food harder to find. The once rich hunting grounds became unpredictable and less bountiful, forcing Megalodon to travel farther and expend more energy in search of prey. Then there was competition. The arrival of adaptable predators like the ancestors of the great white shark added pressure to an already strained ecosystem. These new sharks were smaller, faster, and able to thrive in a wider range of conditions. They competed directly with Megalodon for food, and their agility gave them an edge in the changing seas. As these rivals multiplied, Megalodon found itself facing not just environmental challenges, but also fierce competition for every meal. Food shortage was another issue. As large whales evolved and adapted to cooler waters, Megalodon's main food source dwindled. The whales that once filled the oceans began to migrate to colder regions where Megalodon couldn't easily follow. With fewer prey animals available, the giant shark's massive appetite became a liability. The scarcity of food meant that even the strongest individuals struggled to survive, and the population began to decline. And let's not forget reproduction. Megalodon pups, born in warm coastal waters, may have faced increased competition for resources and nursery grounds. As the climate cooled, these safe havens shrank, and young sharks had to compete with other predators for food and space. The survival rate of megalodon pups likely dropped, making it even harder for the species to recover from population losses. Faced with these overwhelming obstacles, changing climate, fierce competition, dwindling food supplies and reproductive challenges, the reign of the megalodon eventually came to an end around 3.6 million years ago. Its disappearance marked the close of an era, leaving behind only fossilized teeth and a legacy that continues to fascinate us to this day. The idea of a giant prehistoric shark lurking in the deepest parts of the ocean really captures our imaginations. However, the evidence suggests that Megalodon is extinct. We haven't found any fossils that are younger than 3.6 million years old. While the ocean is vast and full of mysteries, it's highly unlikely that a creature as large as Megalodon could remain hidden for so long. Their massive size and need for a large amount of food would make them hard to miss. Still, the mystery of the Megalodon reminds us of the incredible power of nature and the importance of protecting our oceans and the creatures that call it home. The story of the Megalodon and the rise of the Great White Shark teaches us important lessons about the interconnectedness of life on Earth. Adaptability is key. The ability to adjust to changing conditions is essential for survival, especially in a world facing environmental challenges. Balance is crucial, because ecosystems are delicate webs of life, and disruptions to one part can have ripple effects throughout. Fossils tell stories. By studying the past we can learn valuable lessons about the present and the future. So the next time you're at the beach or exploring the ocean depths, remember the tale of the Megalodon. It's a reminder that even the mightiest creatures are vulnerable to change, and that protecting our planet is crucial for all its inhabitants, big and small.